clicked on that last offensive drive, and why do you think you weren't able to be as consistent offensively throughout the game? Uh, you know, I think just you know, mistakes and uh, obviously the same stuff, you know, penalties, critical penalties. Um, I mean, it's the same in all three phases, though. There's some good stuff and, and obviously some stuff that we have to correct. And, and I don't think anybody can function, and certainly us you know, right now, um, in those long yardage situations offensively. How hard, Mike, after you made such a good drive to tie it to, to lose late, just how difficult is it to deal with, with that? I mean, losing late, losing early. I, mean, I appreciate the way they compete. Um, you know, did a nice job in the first half um, in, in that situation, but you know we weren't able to, you know, take to, to keep them in bounds. You know, for them to use some clock, and you know that's so critical right there. Well, you generally pride the yourself, there, you know, after a loss like this, you know, to keep the dam from completely breaking. Uh, nothing I can tell them that's going to make them not be um, disappointed, upset. You know, they spilled their guts out there. Um, but it's about, you know, the same message. It's about figuring out ways to, you know, help the guy next to you, you know, coach him better, understand the details, making sure everybody's prepared to go with that mindset that they could come in there and play. I mean, you see, you know, the guys that, are, you know, go out there for us or somebody gets hurt, the next guy's got to go in, you know, so those are situations that, um, you know, we have to be ready to go. Um, and there's nothing you really can say to them other than, you know, get some rest and, you know, we, we got to spill our guts again and find a way to win on Saturday. This team's generally prided itself on being able to get a couple couple yards in the run game when you need it. You had two third and twos, one with Derek on the field, one with Derek off the field. You chose to throw it. Why why not lean on your best guy and your best because element? Because that's what we chose to do. What's the thinking behind? Because that's the play that we called and went with. You still leave the division. Is that the point of emphasis rather than the negative aspect that you've been Well, I mean, the point of emphasis is just, you know, we got to put everything into it to another week, um, eliminate some of the mistakes, execute better. Um, when we play complimentary, you know, our offense answered back. Um, defense did a nice job in sudden change things that you know, showed up last week. You know, Roger's play at the end of half. You know, Roger had an interception at the end of half last week uh, that turned into a touchdown, that turned into a, you know, a double-up situation. Game got away from us this week. Roger made a fantastic play. Uh, took some momentum in there to halftime, but then mistakes, and but we hung around and, you know, just came up short. that your quarterback was available again after getting caught off, and did you think he was Oh, I've, I've told you about Ryan's toughness and, and what I think about that. Um, you know, he can't get it hit as many times as he does or how he gets hit. Um, you know, we've talked about that. Nothing good happens in, in this league, especially when your quarterback gets hit. Um, you know, but I'm, you know, never going to question, you know, his toughness or his willingness to go in there to try to help the team. Mark, how do you think Dennis Mike? responded from starting the game to getting pulled for Dylan and then needing to go back in? We, we had, um, you know, we talked about it was a rotation that he was going to play through the first quarter and then uh, Dylan was going to go in there and then we were going to make a decision. So um, that was something that we had come up with during the week and it was planned out. I didn't want Dennis or Dylan to think that, um, you know, if they made a mistake that they were going to get pulled, it was play the first quarter play the second quarter, and then, you know, we'll decide from there. With those struggles up front, is it getting to a point where the offensive line is making it tougher to, you know, get into your playbook and do some of the things? No, I mean, we're all, we all make it tough. You know, again, it's, you know, we got to get them the information, and you know, we got to get them the game plan, you know, stay out of some of those situations, um, you know, and then when we chip for them, we, we, we have to chip better and we have to protect better. There's times where, you know, Again, the quarterback had time. You know, nobody was open. There was time where the quarterback didn't have time and guys were open. That's that's how this thing goes. And we'll continue, or you'll continue to try to pinpoint it on one person. It's not that. It's a you know cumulative um, operation. And when it's done well, you know I think we can win football games. I wasn't the physicality to on the offensive. Line. I was just trying to get your perspective on. You don't have to defend that. your question. You know, I mean, it wasn't. It's going to be you, or it's going to be the next guy. It's not. It's not just one guy. You know, we got to play, 
you know, the best offensive lines are um, ones that work great, great together, you know, that, that do that. We've done that this year. We've done that at times a day, you know, and then, you know, one mistake leads to, you know, a sack or a negative play. And then we had plenty of po positive plays. Um, you know, I think it's just, you know, everybody together trying to get back into that rhythm, you know, avoid first and 20s, you know, second and long, third and 25, you, you know, run out of stuff to call. The physicality of the cumulative operation doesn't seem to be working the last four weeks. Is there is there some consideration to changing or tweaking the approach? We'll try, you know, we'll look at everything and we'll go from there. You made some plays on defense today. I guess McCreary keeping the ball in bounds and kind of tipping it back to Kalu. I mean, look at a heads up play. Yeah, it was a fantastic play. Again, he had an opportunity last week, went through his hands. Um, great awareness, you know, challenged on another third down uh, over there uh, on the sticks. He didn't back up and, and was able to come up with a stop. So, you know, we, we competed and, and just. You know, came up short. Was Randy Ryan hitting from you? that range? Uh, did he come to you and say, I'm good to go, I can go back in? Or did the medical team yeah, no, I mean, once they cleared, I knew Ryan, that's what he had said. You know, I mean, I knew that the whole time. Was Randy hitting from that range in warm-ups and half, half? Yeah, I guess he just missed a kick. <laughs>